My name is Sarang Hama Saeed. Uh, I'm director of Middle East programs at the U.S. Institute of Peace. The U.S.-led global coalition to defeat ISIS declared military defeat of ISIS in Syria in March of 2019. Today, ISIS as a military threat is significantly degraded, but it's not finished. Al Hol camp in northeast Syria became a visible symbol of the challenges that remain behind. There uh, in Al Hol, there at its peak, there were 73,000 people from some 60 nationalities. The current population of uh, Al Hol in August of 2023 is estimated to be around 53,000. About 25,000 of those are Iraqis, 18,000 Syrians, and the rest are from some uh, uh, 50 to 60 nationalities that remain in the camp. Most of them are women and children. About 50% uh, of the population are children under the age of 11. Al Hol represents a complex uh, mix of humanitarian and security challenges. On the one side, many of these women and children did not choose the life that they have ended up stuck with, especially the children. They did not choose their parents. They did not choose being at Al Hol. Uh, but on the other hand, government officials, uh, community uh, uh, members perceive those who are in Al Hol to be ISIS. So there is a um, institutional and social stigma on those residents uh, of Al Hol. In Iraq, USIP is working with government and community leaders to address the enduring challenges of the conflict with ISIS. And that includes helping people in Al Hol or displaced in Iraq but have a perception uh, of affiliation with ISIS to be able to have a, a decent uh, path at integrating into society and having a decent life. For this, USIP is organizing roundtables, trainings, workshops, and problem-solving dialogues that uh, bring government and civil society leaders uh, together to address the issues uh, of ISIS and return and reintegration. The process is informed by data directly collected from uh, USIP's conflict and stabilization monitoring framework in Ninoa and also stigma research in the province of Anbar. Through this data, we are painting a picture of what does stigma mean in practical terms for those people, uh, be it uh, bullying of uh, children at the school, uh, be it isolation and harassment of women, uh, young men not being able to work, or the general process of uh, formal or social uh, pressure for those people to disavow family members uh, as being ISIS in many conditions that they are not just under pressure so that they can reintegrate, they are uh, uh, doing those um, uh, disavowals. We have been successful in establishing a community and government mechanism, like for example in Anbar, to transform uh, community opposition to support, to actual collaboration between the tribal leaders and government leaders of Iraq to, and enable the return of people with perceived affiliation with ISIS, but actually cleared by the government of Iraq to be able to go back to Anbar. So far, the government of Iraq has been able to return 5,569 uh, Iraqis uh, to Iraq. Half of those have already re returned uh, to their areas after undergoing a rehabilitation process in the Al Jada Rehabilitation Center uh, in Ninawa. The international community, uh, the Iraqi and Syrian partners, have made a lot of progress in the military defeat of ISIS and stabilizing areas that have been cleared from ISIS. But there is a need to continue and deepen uh, work on uh, rehabilitation and reintegration and do that in practical terms. There is a need for know-how, there is a need for problem solving, and there is a need for psychosocial support, especially for children at school, for women as they reintegrate, especially for youth as they try to find economic opportunity. There is a need to deepen that work to the individual or the case level and uh, help those people to go home and overcome the institutional and community barriers. Otherwise, we will be risking the uh, vulnerability and the isolation of tens of thousands of Iraqis and Syrians uh, to become available for uh, malign actors, be it ISIS as it's trying to uh, uh, resurge, or other extremist organizations and malign actors.